an Irish cormorant. This is a fly that I tied for friends in Ireland who were looking for something a bit sparse, a combination maybe of the cormorant itself, but in the colour con this colour combination I'd used in a cormorant, so I just obviously put it onto a curved hook, much like a duck fly. Basically it came out quite sparse. I mean the the cormorant's like that, it's a very sparse fly. If you make it much heavier than that, it's then you're getting into sort of lurey side. Uh, but this fly here has really come very popular. It's won a few competitions, so it's helped to win a few. So it's certainly worth having in your, in your box. Body-wise, you can change to suit yourself. It's a style more than anything. But anyway, I'm going to start by... I'll take this off. Now the hook I'm going to be using is a Kamasan B110, size 10. Yeah, you can tie them much smaller. As I say, you can do them all colour combinations. This is where a pearl rib works extremely well. Uh, with a silver rib. I mean, any any black buzz that you've got, it works. Tie it in this sort of shape and it'll work for you. Now, I'm going to be using two threads. The first thread I'm going to be using is UTC. And it's black. This is a heavy one. It covers the hook very quick. You simply start at the, the eye of the hook. Give it your waist. And it's and the way around what I like to do is tie in the rib. This is basically a medium red holographic. Just catch it on the side. Take your thread round the bend, touch and turns. All the way around. And then touch and turns, bring it back up. All the way, get going to this point here. You're looking at least two mil from the eye, and then bring your rib up. All the way to this point. Two or three turns into hold, trim away the waist. Now I'm going to be varnishing this body, so obviously the best thing to do is to foot finish, tie off. Now I like to use a varnish, or a, you could go super glue then varnish, but in this case I've just put varnish on and I prefer to use a brush. You get a more even spread of the varnish right round the fly. Uh, it's quicker as well. All the way around. Then set it down, put it onto some ether foam and allow it to dry. And much like Blue Peter, I have one here, ready dry and ready to tie. And this is where I changed the thread to the Uni 80, the finer thread in black. Put it on at the eye and bring it down. Just break or trim that away. Now you can use a dyed black hen, or like I'm going to be using here, it's a Chinese dyed black cock. Which works well. So if it's like in, a, in between, it's quite soft. Just simply take away the fluff at the bottom. Got your hackle in. Now you're looking probably two, two and a half turns. It all depends on how thick the fibres are in your hackle. Simply fold and then Touch and turns, wind down towards the eye, wind leave a space for your wing. Okay. You can take your thread down, tying in the hackle, you can pull it back and come back over. You can break that away. I'm just gonna mess it up slightly. Soften and break up the the fibres. I mean breaking up soft them at the, the roots so they sit nice and slightly pull it down stroke it back looks like it's been fished and that's, that's the way I like to see it now for the wing the bronze mallard now you're looking for, it depends again how thick or good the fibres are but what I like to do is bring them 90 degrees from the stem you see 
right there, 90 degrees, bring straight out, or to the tips, line up right there. Once you do that, tear it off. Just set this on top, so it just comes to the back of the hook, just by it. Now I'm kind of folding it. Just sit it on the top, get the length, as I say, fold it some either side, and then pinch and loop it down. See how it sits? That's fine. Trim away your waist. Before you do anything else, make sure this is tied down. Okay? Now I like to lower the wing slightly. It's very easy to do. Just put your finger on top and bring the fibres towards the eye and pull them back. See, it sits it down slightly. Now, the, any jungle coat that you've got that's split like that, it's ideal for this fly. But some either side, all you do is set it on top. Make sure it's sitting right. Come over. Tie it down. Okay. Looks okay. You can either fold back these fibres or in this case, I'm going to trim them away. Bring a thread to the front and build the thread up from the front to the top or to the jungle cock itself. I find it easier sometimes doing that. Keep the thread tight and get straight in and work finish. Small fibre there, I'm going to trim away, trim away the thread. There we go. All we have got to do now is varnish. All the way around. And there you go. And that's the Irish Comet. Certainly worth a space in your fly box.